Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. So in previous video, we learned about like indexing and slicing. Also, we have seen like how we can do a uh, NumPy uh, array to tensor and then uh, how we can convert it back from tensor to NumPy. In this video, we will learn about like how we can change the uh, shape or size of a tensor. Okay. So let us dive in and start like what are the basic operations that we can use or basic functions that we can use to modify the shape of a tensor. Okay. So let us create a simple uh, tensor. Let us say x is equal to torch dot tensor. And let us create a simple tensor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Now let us print x dot shape. So what it will be? It will be simply like a vector. Okay. So let us run and see it. You see, it's simply like uh, six uh, uh, size six uh, vector. Okay. Now, if simply I will add a further dimension, which will be so like uh, one cross six now. Okay. So now let us run and see it. So you see, it is now one cross six. So uh, the first method that we will learn is a squeeze and unsqueeze. Okay, so it is mainly used to um, it is mainly used to uh, add a zero dimension uh, uh, shape or remove a zero dimension uh, shape. Okay, for example, if you want to remove uh, this shape or this dimension, which doesn't have any any um, elements in that dimension, we can simply use x dot squeeze okay so we can simply say x is equal to x, um, x dot squeeze okay and now the shape of x would be simply a vector which will have six elements okay so now if we run it it will be simply a vector of six element it won't have the dimension uh, that has just uh, no elements okay and this is mainly useful when we get a tensor where it has many um, uh, dimensions just uh, one and then we want to remove it in those cases it is uh, useful okay also uh, a squeeze is simply like if there are many uh, one dimensional shapes it will remove all of them for example if there are uh, simply add one more dimension here and then it will be like uh, one uh, cross one cross um, six okay so if i want to squeeze it it will be of the shape you see one cross one cross six now if you are, uh, if we want to simply squeeze just one dimension and uh, uh, keep the others we simply specify the dimension we want to squeeze for example if i want to say squeeze just one then it will squeeze just one and then we will get one cross six okay so you see now let's look at like how we can use unsqueeze unsqueeze is like a reverse of a squeeze so in that uh, we will add uh, um an extra dimension okay so let us create an tensor another tensor torch dot tensor and let us say we have a simple vector one two three four five okay now when we say x is equal to let us print print x dot save and now let us say x is equal to x dot unsqueeze okay and let us add uh, so it it requires a dimension where we want to add so let us say one and if we will print now the shape so here we have like a, um, a tensor which is a vector actually and then we uh, unsqueeze it in dimension one, so it will have um, five cross one. Okay, so let us run and see it. So let us comment this out. So you see, it is five uh, element vector, and then we have a tensor which has another dimension. Okay. Next, let us look at uh, another uh, operation uh, which modifies the shape of the tensor, which is transpose. OK, 
okay and in transpose we have uh, uh, two uh, methods one is tensor dot t and then we have tensor dot transpose okay and the basic difference in between tensor dot t and tensor dot transpose is like tensor dot t is only applied on a two dimension tensor we cannot apply it uh, multi dimensional tensor okay and let us see with examples so let's say we have a, a tensor x is equal to torch dot tensor One, two, three, four. And let us create another dimension, say five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now, if I will say print x dot save, and let us call x is equal to x dot t, let us print x dot save again. Let us run and see it. So here we are saying just uh, uh, change row to columns and columns to row. Okay. So this will be uh, um, two cross four, whereas this will be four cross two. Okay. So let us run and see it. See, it is two cross four, and we got four cross two. Now, if we have a tensor which is more than two dimensions, we cannot use a tensor dot t method. Okay, and for that we need to use tensor dot transpose. For example, here we have a, a tensor has a dimension of like uh, um, three cross two cross four, and if we want to transpose um, like a dimension uh, uh, first to uh, third, we cannot do that with uh, tensor dot t. We need to use tensor dot transpose okay so let us uh, try to uh, do that here so let us comment this out here we can simply say x is equal to x dot transpose and uh, one more thing is to remember like uh, uh, tensor dot t doesn't accept any argument whereas in transpose we need to pass the argument like which particular axis we want to exchange with which particular axis okay so here for example if you want to exchange uh, this axis with say this axis then we will say zero um versus um one okay so we can simply say zero one and if you uh, let us say print x dot shape what the shape will be it will be like uh, 3 cross 2 cross 4 okay so 3 is like uh, these subtensors okay and then we have a uh, um um two uh, rows in this particular uh, each subtensor and then we have four elements in each row okay so that's why we get um 3 cross 2 cross 4 okay so let us uh, see uh, what we get when we transpose 0 to 1. So what we have is 3 cross 2 cross 4. Now 3 is replaced with 2 and 2 is replaced with 3. Okay. So we will get a tensor of 2 cross 3 cross 4. Okay. So x dot save. So I'll just run and see it. So you see we had a tensor of 3 cross 2 cross 4 and then when we changed this and this replaced 2 is went here and 3 went here okay and also let us uh, we can say like a, a, a 0 replaced with 2 now in this case this will be replaced with this and this will go here okay so let us run and see it You see, this went here and this went here. I hope that is clear. Now let us look at how we can um, use view tensor dot view. Okay, so let us say we have a tensor x is equal to torch dot tensor, and let us say we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we have another one. Let us say seven, eight, nine. 
Now, if you want to change the shape of this tensor X, we can use view as well as reshape. And the main, um, the main difference between view and reshape is like they, they function the same way, but there is a um, underlying difference. So view tensor is simply like it uses the same data. So when we use view to change the shape, it uh, it it doesn't create a copy it simply uh, look at the same data source that the base tensor has whereas reshape actually um, it doesn't guarantee that okay it might be it might not okay so we will see in the next video like what is uh, the main thing like uh, a tensor is contiguous or non contiguous that's what happens mainly so let us look at uh, this first another thing is like uh, um, Tensor.view is only applicable on our contiguous tensor. Okay, we will see in the next video like what does that mean. Um, but just to know as a definition that uh, what is the major difference. Okay, whereas reshape you can apply on contiguous as well as non-contiguous tensor. It doesn't complain. Okay, so these are the major differences that you need to know about view and reshape. They they do the same thing. Um, so uh, it, it is uh mainly to know like what is the difference and where one should use what so let us see like how we can use it so we can simply say print x dot save and if i will say x is equal to x dot view and let us say um, it is 12 elements so i can say 3 4 so it will be a new tensor of dimension 3 cross 4 okay so we can simply x dot save let us run and see it. So you see it was 2 cross 6. Now it is 3 cross 4. Okay. We can check if the tensor is contiguous and we will see like it is. So we can simply say print x dot is contiguous. So let us see if it is contiguous, it will return true. So you see it is contiguous. Now, if I will simply add like x is equal to x dot t as it is just two dimensional. Now, actually, the transpose is always returns a uh, non contiguous most of the time. So now it will fail because uh, it always uh, runs on um, contiguous tensor. So that requirement won't fulfill so it will fail okay you see it is not contiguous and then it fails um now let us try the same thing um with uh view sorry not view with uh reshape so now if i will say x is equal to so let us print x dot is contiguous so it will be false and then if i will say x is equal to x dot reshape 2 cross 3 print x dot shape okay so in this case it won't fail because it doesn't have that constraint like uh, the tensor uh, should be contiguous so it will work okay so let us run and see it Sorry, it should be like uh, 4 cross 3 because uh, here we have like 12 elements and 2 cross 3 won't uh, use all of them. Okay, so this is another important thing when we are using view or reshape. The size of the tensor should not change. So here we have like 6 cross 2, which is like 12 elements. And then it should be uh, the same when we are trying to uh, change the shape of the tensor. Okay, so let us run and see it. So you see, uh, it was false, like it was not contiguous, but we were able to reshape it. Okay. So I hope everything is clear in this video. Um, in the next video, we will talk about uh, contiguous and non contiguous and uh, um, how uh, it is useful. And uh, there are many operations that actually require the tensor to be contiguous, like so that it will be more efficient. Um, so 
Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Take care. See you in the next.